Hi there, I'm Aza from Assimilate. This past week we've been at Brompton here in Burbank testing various virtual production workflows using our new software LiveFX. Joining us here are a couple of really valuable partners that we made along the way, starting with Brom Technologies, obviously. We have NCAM here with their tracking technology, ProLight and Quasar Science for the lighting. We have exceptional 360 content provided by Atmospheres and MetaCamera. LightCell VR has joined uh, and is basically running the production of all this. So, so the whole point of the space here in Burbank, the reason we created it was to have a place where people could come in a non-commercial environment and take their time and just figure things out and, and, and collaborate and do testing. And that's what we're doing here with Assimilate and LightSail VR and NCAM. Um, our, our partners here, we're, we're working together to try things that we haven't done before. Um, and it's really inspiring to work with companies like this that are at the top of their game. LiveFX is probably the most flexible virtual production software because it allows you to use Unreal, Notch, and even 360 video background plates. And on top of that, you can use powerful color correction tools, visual effects tools, and do real compositing all in real time. We believe that LiveFX is a key component to creative storytelling. One of the advantages of LiveFX is a consistent interface and tool, be it LED wall, green screen, no screen, whether you're using it for location scouting, previs, or final delivery. NCAM is a pioneer in live camera tracking and pre-visualization for on-set solutions in the film, television, live broadcast, and live event industries. NCAM is extremely flexible in any environment. We use something called hybrid tracking, which allows us to track off of natural features or traditional reflective markers. This means you can track using our system in an indoor environment, an outdoor environment, LED walls, or green screens. NCAM's Mark II system can also be used wirelessly, which is extremely unique. You can use the system just about anywhere. Because you don't have to set up reflection markers, we were able to set it up very quickly. You can save the tracking data to InCam server as well as in LiveFX. And with LiveFX, we can obviously not only take in the camera tracking information, but also zoom and focus metadata. And we can apply this in real time to the 3D model or to a 2D texture to create a parallax effect um, or even to 360 material. As we were developing our LiveFX product, we continued the integration with the Brompton Tessera product to help drive the LED walls. Up here in the tools menu, you can call up the LED wall control panel. And from here, we can control the brightness, gain and temperature of any given LED wall. So I choose my first wall, Brompton Stack A, and I can increase the brightness here. Just like that. Or I can, let me make it a little bit brighter again, change the temperature. So I can make this really cold or really warm. And these transforms are actually happening on the LED processor. I'm tweaking electrical parameters if you want. We've been able to set up and configure different workflows using a Simulate and our Tessera platform for the transmission of HDR footage, which allowed us to conduct testing of dark magic, pure tone, and most impressively, the immediate and monumental impact extended bit depth brings. So extended bit depth um, increases the effective bit depth of your panels. In combination with dark magic and pure tone, uh, we're able to reveal subtleties in extreme low brightness that weren't possible before. By giving us extended bit depth, uh, it, it's solving a problem that I've always worked with, is uh, to get the most bit depth as possible. I'm not interested in, in the K wars. I don't need much more resolution than we have now, but what we do need is better color. E extension of that uh, bottom end of bit, bit depth is going to be so important for really capturing things that uh, that would have just gone into black before. Um, we're also utilizing Pure Tone to mix batches of LED on the wall. So we've got two different production batches of LED and the entire wall is uniform. Uh, the only way you can tell that there's multiple batches on this wall is by looking at the serial numbers on the back of the wall. One of the most exciting technologies that we uh, tested out this week was uh, a feature called frame remapping in the Brompton Tessera LED processor. This technology allows you to uh, use two cameras on the same LED wall. We were able to have both cameras capture their respective uh, stream on the LED wall, and it worked perfectly. I've seen similar technologies, but with live effects, those videos could be anything you want. One could be rendering from Unreal, one could be rendering from Notch, or it could even be a video. You can also shoot green screen and the actual content at the same time. 
there is no one way to do virtual production. Virtual production is just a, a with, with tools like this, is an approach to filmmaking that extends your possibilities of what you can do per scene. We recently did this elaborate action sequence. It was complicated. There was a parachute, there were arrows being fired. So we pre vised it in Notch, feeding through live effects. Then what you could do is virtually scout. You could walk around a room and have director and cinematographer scout that virtual location and go, you know what, on a 50 mil, this looks good here, and that virtual location goes with you on set. They've already decided what they want, they've lit it with you, and it's not a surprise on the day. So instead of executives, editors, directors getting their night's worth of dailies of an actor on a blank green background, no, they're seeing something that's near final. You could start refining the comp if you want, and it's all still in real time, just as real time as when you shot it. You're starting rough on the, on the comp before you shoot, and then you're getting better and better and better and better and better until it's final. But at no point, if you embrace that entire workflow, are you starting from scratch and nobody has any idea what it's supposed to be, which is how we do a lot of VFX now, unfortunately. So live effects software is actually driving the color controls in the Brompton processing. It's also driving the DMX lighting we have on the stage here. Today we worked with the ProLight Orion fixture in our DMX network and I loved how well it worked with Assimilate Live Effects uh, for you know, giving us the in real time the same values as the LED wall was producing with our virtual background. I found it extremely useful the fact that within live effects you can sample the values from your background, send that data to your DMX network of lighting in the physical world. And then when you play back your, uh, your background on your LED wall, then your physical fixtures are interacting now with your virtual world. What seemed like a bigger learning curve to tap my lighting network into the virtual world actually was way simpler than I had previously thought. The green screen workflow in LiveFX is very important for me and it's very easy to set up. You can apply color correction to your image, use the qualifier to pull a good key, and you also have powerful despill tools at your fingertips. You can record right in live effects, so that in post-production, you can continue to refine your key, do additional color correction, and then you can bring in your camera raw files right back into the same composite, reuse the same key and effects, and do your final color correction and finishing. NCAM is excited to work with LightSail, Brompton, and Assimilate to show how our solutions can better serve our customers. This week has been fantastic for us, thanks to all of our partners who joined in uh, making this happen. We've learned a lot. It was amazing to see live effects in combination with all the uh, different technology that we had present here on set. If you want to know more about live effects, head over to assimilating.com.